My name is James Roberts. I went to Loughborough University and I graduated in product design and technology. And at the moment I am a design innovationist and I have been doing this whole thing on SolidWorks. My final year of university, I came up and developed MUM, which is an inflatable incubator made for the developing world. And basically the main point of it is that instead of 30,000 uh, 30, pounds, which is normal cost of incubators, mine costs about 250. Well, I came up with the idea <laughs> by accident, I guess. We had uh, we got given the brief of design something that solves a problem, and I just so happened to sit down in front of my TV one night, and a documentary about Syria came up. And a good five-minute se segment of this documentary showed how many premature children were dying just due to the simple lack of no incubation. And I thought that'd be an interesting subject to try and do for my last year, and just went for it. SolidWorks in itself played a role from the from the very beginning, really. It's the best design tool I've ever used. You can do anything on it. It helped me from the original prototyping to all the 3D printing, to all the CNCing I had to do, to the final uh, aesthetic piece. It really helped me from day one. And without it, I don't think I could have done what I did in half the time. Getting the heater was actually really difficult for me because there was loads of options. I prototyped loads of things. And the, one, the only one that worked was quite a weird shape and I actually had to build around that in SolidWorks and the only way I could do that was with SolidWorks. It was small and it needs to be efficient as well. This can run off a car battery for 24 hours. There are nearly all of the incubator benefited from SolidWorks and CAD, from the volume in actually containing the incubator in the outer shells to actually having to make sure that this could withstand a plane ride to Syria and maybe being dropped out of a plane from a care package. There are two parts where I think SolidWorks really helped me. One of them was for all the attachments for the functional model, which is more of the 3D printing part. And without those, I couldn't have actually tested if it actually works, if it actually works as an incubator. The second was when I was making the shells to actually contain the inflatable body, I had to make sure that the volume inside was large enough to hold the inflatable piece. And SolidWorks could tell me instantly if that would work. Someone from Dyson actually looked around my university at the degree show and said to me, could you please enter the award? We like this project, it could fit in with us really well. And I was, I was like, wow, this is amazing. I'll definitely do that. And then Sir James Dyson himself, who's one of my personal heroes, actually invited me down to his, his warehouse in Malmesbury. So I went down there. I was really nervous, shook his hand. I was like, how are you? You're like, you know, kind of a inspiring person to me and showed him how it all works, took him throughout the whole thing and then he surprised me, just stuck his hand out and said, well done James, you've won and it just blew me away. <laughs> and having someone like James Dyson say this product could actually do something great is a huge achievement and it's just given me so much credibility in the world.